So now let's move on to the third song, which is Tum Kya Jano. This has again a very different uh, beat, a different pattern. The song is in D major, which we'll be playing over here. You also need to know G major, which we'll be playing over here. Uh, you need to know C major, which we'll be playing over here. And you also need to know C minor, which we'll be playing over here. Now you can play D, G, and C here, except for C minor, which we'll have, for, which you'll have the strumming pattern for the song. I'll first play it in the original speed, then I'll slow it down so you can see what I'm doing, and we'll keep it very simple. So here's how the sound in D major. I'll slow it down now. So as you can see, there are three strokes, one down stroke, and then a combination of down and up, where the first down stroke, you have to mute the uh, string, so it should sound like this. The first one is, and the next two are, so the down stroke, instead of uh, sounding like this, it should sound like this, and it should be followed immediately with an up stroke. So the three strokes. So the song is in B major and you need to do the following chords. B major, which you will be playing here. G minor. E major, you could play it here or you could also play it here. You also need to know two more chords. One is B augmented, which we'll be playing here. So this is B major and this is B augmented. So this is the fourth finger is fretting the seventh fret on the sixth string. The, the third finger is fretting the sixth fret on the fifth string. The second finger is fretting the fifth fret on the fourth string. And the first finger can be used to fret both the second and the third strings on the second fret. But don't play the first string. So make sure that you don't fret that. You can just use your first finger to lightly touch it. So the full chord would be something like this. This is actually a passing chord and it's been used very effectively in this song and you'll see in a moment how it sounds. You also need to know B7 which you could play over here. So instead of B major it's B7. You could play it here if you wish or you could play it here as well. So now let's try and see the strumming pattern. The, uh, the song has a very interesting strumming pattern so if you have another instrumentalist like maybe a drummer playing with you all you need to know are two strokes. I'll play it again. So the first down stroke is where you mute the strings and then you play an up stroke without muting the strings and then you just repeat this pattern. However, if you are strumming uh, with no other instrument, it might sound a little uh, incomplete and you might want to add the, the, the pattern which will make it sound closer to the the pattern with the drums so you could play something like this I'll play slowly so down stroke followed by a down and up combination where the first down stroke is with a muting effect so once again followed by an up stroke and a combination of down and up again. So a down stroke 
followed by a combination of up and uh, sorry down and up and up stroke followed by a combination of down and up again so but the original pattern is Now we know the chord and the strumming pattern, let's try and play along with the song. 